from now, I'm going to give the hand to Mr. Yan. That's going to show you the, um, the demo. Yeah, I just share my screen. So you should be able to see it now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Uh, so for this demo, we want to show um, the usage of TTS uh, inside a simple Unity game uh, where a user uh, that don't hold any fund in his account uh, can interact with the, the blockchain. Uh, so we just make a simple counter, uh, smart contract counter on chain and have the user increment the counter. Uh, but this work as well with any other smart contract like ERC20 or ERC721 for NFTs. Uh, I, I just wanted to, to keep things simple for the demo. So currently uh, on my MetaMask, I have an account, uh, like I said, with not if. Um, so it will not be able to pay for any, any gas um, uh, to send transaction. Uh, so I will start. Uh, to log uh, on the Unity game choosing MetaMask. So we can still check uh, its GS test account with no funds. And uh, we end up in the second scene. Uh, so I've separated the, the workflow just to, to explain a bit more, but this can be combined in just one button. Um, on this scene, there is basically two workflow. Uh, possible. The first one is where the user, uh, it's a new player on the game, uh, and it tried to connect uh, to the first time on the GTS backend. Uh, so uh, under the hood, we will send his user EOA, and the GTS backend will check if, uh, if there is any uh, smart contract wallet associated with this user. So if this is not the case, we will just create a new one. So it's a proxy to Agnosis Safe my contract wallet um, that will be used to hold any user's funds uh, or assets like token or NFTs. It will be used some sort of uh, as some sort of uh, middleware uh, uh, to allow GTS to, to work properly. And the second workflow we're going to, to see is just that uh, the player already exists in the database. So we will just provide um, uh, his uh, smart contract wallet address. So we just click connect. And we can see on the screen my current user EOA. So we can verify it. So it's 1F4. And on MetaMask is 1F4. So still the same. And we can see just under. Uh, what is my uh, smart contract wallet associated? Uh, so the E7. So like I said, is a noisy safe that we hold the fund. And uh, the user balance is the user balance of my user EOA, just to show during the demo that there is no fund added uh, at any time. Uh, and it, both the user balance and counter uh, value are refreshed every five seconds. Um, so now uh, I'm the owner of the user EOA and also GTS backend provide me a smart contact wallet that I'm also the owner at any time. So it's one-on-one -on -one, uh, owner to, to spend funds on, on this wallet. So every time we want to interact on the blockchain, uh, we will need to ask the user to sign the transaction. So if I want my smart contact wallet to interact with the counter one, um, I will need to ask the user to, to sign the transaction. So if I click plus one button, <clears throat> we are not, uh, MetaMask not asking us to send the transaction, but it asks us to sign a request. Uh, uh, so asking to uh, sign the Nozzy safe uh, transaction, including the, counter increment call. So I will just sign it. And we will be able to see on uh, the console uh, the transaction hash uh, provided by GTS. And we are just waiting uh, for the transaction to be mined. Uh, so it's done. We can see the receipt 
in the console, <coughs> sorry, or in the in the game, and we can see that the status is success. So if I copy the transaction hash on uh, etherscan, uh, we can see that the transaction succeed. Uh, the from address is zero uh, x nine nine e, which is the GTS relayer um, EOA that pay for the transaction uh, fees. And uh, we try to interact uh, with the E7, which is my uh, user's Mac contact wallet on chain. And uh, so in this transaction, uh, GTS backend pay uh, for the fees we can see here and not my user EOA. So if we show a bit more details on what happened during the transaction, using this service, <clears throat> we can see that uh, the sender is still uh, 99E, which is a uh, uh, relayer EOA. Uh, that call uh, the proxy. So in this case, proxy is my uh, Gnosis uh, safe proxy, which delegates call to the Gnosis safe uh, logic code to execute a transaction. Uh, so in this transaction, we want to call counter uh, smart contract wallet, and uh, we want to increment. So in data, uh, it's just the ABI encode uh, method uh, function name, uh, who, uh, which is a counter increment. Uh, so we can see just that uh, we 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 try to call from the the proxy we, uh, of the user. We want to call the the increment. So if we imagine. Uh, a use case where we want to send an uh, NFT. Uh, instead of counter uh, increment, we will have the NFT smart contract uh, and transfer method. And uh, the account that at the beginning that hold uh, the NFT, we build the Nozis safe proxy uh, and not the um, uh, GTS EOA or the user EOA. User UI is just here to sign the transaction to allow GTS to spend funds uh, like assets or uh, uh, tokens. Uh, and uh, we can see also that the counter just increment to 22. It was 21 just before. And we can check also on the data scan. So this is uh, the uh, address of the counter. And we can see that the value is 22. Uh, so we we received the increment uh, uh, call two minutes ago. Uh, so this is for the demo. So if you want, we can show a bit more of how it works under the hood. That's amazing, guys. Thank uh, you. Great job. Yeah, this is obviously, questions. obviously very slick. Yes. Leon helped me uh, a lot uh, on modifying the gaming SDK also. Uh, he's not present, but thank you to him. Uh, the idea is to provide uh, the, some uh, function inside the gaming SDK to have the game developer to only change some part of the code. So it's not a lot of workload to do, just to send transactions through GTS backend instead of uh, directly having the user paying for the, the transaction. So basically, if I can show my screen, it's my Unity game, I would just up. Uh, up. When I click on the plus one button, uh, basically instead of sending on the gaming SDK, the function to send the transaction is called uh, send contracts. So instead of calling send contract, we just uh, call send GTS and all of the magic happen uh, inside the uh, gaming SDK and the GTS JavaScript library to uh, wrap the, the real transaction which is increment uh, the counter in this case inside a Nozis safe transaction. 
and ask uh, the user to sign it and uh, and forward the transaction to the GTS backend. Uh, and that's it.